So the new Battles of Legends is upon us and it was just revealed that 5 Starlight Rares are going to be the 5 pieces of Exodia. How will this affect the collecting community and the cards of the past? Let's get into it. Hey what's going on guys, today's video is just going to be about my thoughts on the recent leaks of Exodia being in the set for Battles of Legend. Every single one of them is going to be in there so it's not going to be spread out over many sets. Not only that, there's also 4 other Starlights on top of that so there's 9 in total. The first thing that we have to discuss is because Konami is increasing the number of Starlight Rares, are they going to be increasing the pull ratio as well? In my opinion, I don't think so. I think with this one, Konami learned from the Ghosts from the Past thing and I think that they are going to keep it just as difficult as before because there's nine of them pretty much double the amount of starlight rares the pull rates are going to be atrocious I think people are going to have a really hard time completing this set and I can definitely see this Exodia set hitting like the $1,500 mark the other collectible card that they decided to choose as a starlight rare is Yara Garasu. Now, that's the only other card I'm going to be talking about in this video because the other ones are out of my realm. Like, I don't really know too much about them. I just know about the collectible side of the hobby. And for Yara Garasu, in my opinion, I think that it's a very interesting choice because Yara has always had one prime for its representation and that is the legacy of darkness first edition however that one is not really considered uh high rarity because of the secret rare dilution right like everything is a secret rare nowadays so it doesn't really mean too much anymore i think that the fact that they're releasing the starlight rare is gonna make it very very collectible for a lot of people because i know a lot of people who are big yada fans like for me i'm not personally but i know a lot of people who love that card so i can definitely see people collecting play sets of this and and I'll be very interested to see the price of that. I mean, we're going to have like two primes now. We're going to have the Starlight Rare and the Secret Rare. And I'll be very interested to see how the market receives the Starlight Rare and how it reacts to the Secret Rare after the release of the Starlight. But that's just like a little bit of overview. Now let's talk about the juicy part, which is how will this affect the market? For Exodia, we have three main high-end sets that exist in the world today first we have the exodia from lob first edition then we have the exodia set from ultimate beginners pack and then the budget really awesome one in my opinion is the legendary collection yugi's world first edition these three sets have high rarity exodia pieces in my opinion i think the rarest one is the ubp one however the most expensive one is the legend of blue eyes so where will the starlight rare slot in in my opinion i do think that the starlight rare would slot in right alongside ubp currently the ubp pieces go for around 200 to 300 dollars each adding up to around 1200 to 1300 dollars in my opinion i think the starlight rares will slot right in there i mean starlight rares are extremely beautiful but they are modern and what this means is that the appeal and the chase for them is not going to be as big as something like the original ubps the ubps are going to be equally as rare maybe a little bit less rare than the starlight rares and i think that the star Starlight Rares Exodias will be able to just compete with that. I don't think they'll be able to eclipse the UBP pieces. So to me, I would estimate that the Starlight Exodia set would hit in that $1,200 to $1,500 range. I really can't imagine being $2,500. I mean, that's a very hard pill to swallow for any OG collector. You can buy a lot of things for that $2,500. At $1,200 to $1,500, I think it is just as competitive as everything else that is Exodia. I just can't imagine it hitting that price point. $2,500 is a lot of money, right? Like you can buy Ghost Rare Stardust, you can buy Dark Magician First Edition, like PSA 9. You can buy a lot of really good vintage cards. And if you have the money, I think most people would lean towards the vintage choices instead of the modern Starlight Rares. However, at $1,500 market price, I think that is is great incentive to add these to your collection because you're still getting five really really beautiful cards right like starlight rares are arguably some of the best looking cards in the game overall i don't think that it will beat the lob first edition however i do think that it will match up with the ubp one and it will absolutely eclipse the legendary collection yugi's world now yada garasu in my opinion has a very good chance of being eclipsed by the starlight rare i think that the secret rare is great and i really love it i have a couple in my own collection but i just don't see it being able to keep up with starlight rare riyadh garasu especially because it's going to be a 
collectors that want this card and LOD first edition Yara is not very difficult to get. So the fact that you're able to get like a nice, beautiful, crispy Starlight Rare for Yara Garasu, I, I think a lot of collectors will gravitate towards that. I don't know why, like LOD secret rares are just a lot more available than every other secret rare. And I think that might have to do with the fact that there's a lot more boxes out there. It, it just doesn't take the same level of kind of like potency when it comes to rarity as something like Guy the Dragon Champion or Trihorn Dragon. So because of that, I think that the Starlight Rares will become the max rarity, while for Exodia, I don't think the Starlight Rares will become max rarity. Now for my concluding thoughts, I do believe that these cards will become very sought after and very collectible in the future. I really like Starlight Rares. I personally love the way that they look. I love the rarity of them. I think it's the best thing that Konami has done after Ghost Rares. I do think in the future, I can see the next generation and a lot of the vintage collectors collecting all of like these old chase cards in starlight rares and having kind of like a binder of that i think it'd be pretty badass in my opinion i think it's a it would be a great subset and it will do better than ghost shares because in my opinion i don't think every card looks good in ghost share like i'm sorry i do think that everything looks good in starlight rare so because of that i think that the whole subset of starlights will be a lot more collectible and i think as more and more of these starlights keep coming out i think the original ones will continue to go up more and more in price so things like the Stardust and the Black Rose Dragon, if they keep coming out with, you know, Blue Eyes, Dark Magician Girl, Jinzo, Dark Magician, every single one of these cards, and then eventually get to the GX cards, and then eventually complete the Siren Dragons in Starlight Rare. I mean, it would be incredibly badass, and the binder would look absolutely aesthetic. In my opinion, I think that we have a great future ahead of us when it comes to Starlight Rares, and I think that Exodia is just going to kick it off right now, because this was a complete surprise, right? Like, a lot of people were expecting the Blue Eyes, but the fact that they revealed five cards as starlight rares that's really badass I, <laughs> like these are some of the only modern cards i personally would collect i think uh, they did a great job on them. They, I think they completely blow away collector rares. I'm not really a fan of collector rares. I, I think that Starlight Rares will do great in the future. And I'm most likely going to be picking up a set of Exodia. And I'm probably going to pick up a Yara Garasu. Because I do have the other ones. I have the Stardust and the Black Rose. But I never really felt the need to pick up any more uh, of these cards. Because they don't really resonate with me as a collector, right? I bought exodia definitely does so <laughs> i'm definitely going to be hunting something like that so yeah that's my thoughts on the starlight leaks if you guys want to support the channel use the links in the description support me on patreon like the video subscribe if you want to see more and comment down below what your thoughts are would you start collecting these starlight rares now that we have the og monsters being released as them because for me it's definitely very intriguing and very enticing so yeah <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed that and i hope you learned something i'll see you in the next one peace